think about how uh, those last city bridge payphones finally disappeared and reflect on the mystery of what could have taken so long. I check in on this old thing and I can't believe it's still here. <clears throat> Those last two city bridge phones were not exactly in prominent spots, but this is, you know, Central Park South and 7th Avenue. This is a pretty active spot, so maybe somebody's keeping it here for old time's sake. There's something funny on the other side. Yeah, just a lot of stickers. I don't do stickers, I just do cards. Stickers is vandalism. Of course, so is cards, but not by my puny logic. Anyway, it's another, another gift from Verizon. Let's see what kind of shape this this old masterpiece is in. Somebody chopped off the handset or the, right at the cord. Central Park was took its time getting rid of its most of its phones, but it's still left these. I think there's this, and there's still a couple up, left up at the dairy. If I can remember where the hell that is. This has got Verizon and 9X, two brands from payphones of the past. Let's see if this thing rejects my, my money, as it should. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, coin return works, as it should be. That number, I'm sure, is on my website somewhere. I don't remember this one being so recalcitrant, but... Who knows? That's not gonna last. So this is at the carousel. Uh, they, the park finally did get rid of the phones that were way up north um, by the tennis courts. But I think there's still gonna be at least two others, maybe four, if I can remember where to find them. And the carousel's kind of absurd. Love these trees in the winter. It's been a pretty mellow winter so far. Basically not a drop of snow, not a flake of snow. The longest snowless spell in I don't know how long but it's been a while. But yesterday was just like continuous rain. And I ended up doing something I don't think I've done in probably over a year. Of course to say I did something is paradoxical because I didn't do anything. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't leave the apartment once for the entire day. I can't remember the last time that happened. Anyway, I guess I'm coming up on the band shell. I'm actually not sure this is the dairy. But uh, 
here they are in pretty good shape. Verizon stripped off all its branding, but left the old 9X bug. Let's see if it's well mannered. No. Bastard phone. Wonder how much money's in that thing. Suckers like me could be filling that filling that with some serious coin. What does that remind me of? Okay, so that one works. At least as far as uh, functionally spitting back out the coin. This one, not so much. So this one's probably full of money. <laughs> what was the number on this? I think they were all 650. Two six five zero. I think all the phones in the park started with that. Oh, I'm wrong. <laughs> seven one seven. I don't remember that one. That's kind of a strange exchange, actually, for an old, for an old landline. I wonder if they actually tried to make this one wireless. There you have it. Two left in pretty decent shape, but maybe someday they'll come back to life. I greatly doubt it, but... Oh yeah, and the landlines. The metal tubes still protect the landlines, so... Assuming the copper hasn't just rotted into dirt, <laughs> these things could possibly rise again, but... Don't hold your breath. <sighs> and in case I didn't make it clear enough, uh, those two phones are at this restaurant, La Pain Quotidienne, as I like to call it, the Daily Pain. I'm not sure if this building used to be called the Dairy or if I'm just mixing things up, but. I'm going to see if I can find another set that I think is still still lingering. So we're at the uh, the Krebs boathouse. And this was, until about two years ago, the last working phone in Central Park. Last working pay phone. And I had a lot of interesting <laughs> encounters at this one. This is where I was uh, putting, putting coins in to make a call on a woman standing uh, to my left, saw me and she said, uh, Oh, do you want to use my cell phone? It's like she said it with this pitiful sound on her voice, as if nobody should be. Yeah, you should lower themselves to using a public payphone. I also had a time here when um, this woman who had seen me in a, in a film that I was in sent me a handwritten letter because uh, seeing the film just turned her on to the... I mean, she already had a thing for pay phones, but it reignited her interest in it. Oh, I should see if there's dial tone, shouldn't I? There is not. That's right, and this one has a confusing layer, layers of numbers, which I think suggests they might have tried to make this one wireless at some point. And it has all the shortcuts for the, the daily prayer and all that. Um, this looks about the same as I remember it last time I was here. The lights don't work anymore. I actually have one. What do I know? Maybe they turn on at night. Uh, but she uh, had seen me in that in the film that I was in. 
and she wrote me a handwritten letter. Okay, well, ew, gross. <laughs> well, there's a few coins in here. I might turn a profit today. Oh, somebody tried to pay with a penny. There's never been a payphone that accepted pennies. Not even in the earliest days. Way back when, they actually took dollar coins. The er some of the early payphones. But anyway, she, uh, she contacted me and we ended up meeting on uh, at Columbus Circle. And uh, we decided I'd give her the tour of the Central Park payphones and this ended up being one of them. And from this phone, she called the uh, God's Blessing daily prayer thing. And she had a really sweet conversation with the prayer counselor. It was, it was memorable. I wish I could have, like, documented it. But, um, but this is the boathouse, the Krebs Boathouse payphone. And I did make calls from this as recently as two years ago. But it's dead. The skyline has definitely changed, but the uh, apocalyptic rise of the pencil skyscrapers doesn't seem to have totally engulfed uh, Manhattan. I once saw, um, what's his face, it was right along here, uh, John F. Kennedy Jr. And his, uh, he was walking with his wife. Oh, there's a soap bubble. still work. No. No such luck. It's another 212650 number though. Still puzzled by that 212717 number from the earlier one. This is inside the Juris Center for Education. And I'm not going to leave my card here because it's, I don't know, indoors. This phone did work, I think, until probably a year and a half ago. Maybe even more recently. But they pulled the plug on it. Eurus is next to the Met Museum. On Museum Mile. And and I think I'm being watched by somebody behind me, so I think I'm gonna leave. If you go into the actual museum, there are a couple of payphones on embedded into the walls. On, uh, I think there's four of them on either side, two on either side. And I'm not gonna go in, because last time I was in there, they gave me a hard time about even looking at them because they're sort of behind the security table or security gate or something, so. But they're in there if you, uh, if you want to just catch a glimpse. <laughs> oh, there's the Eurus name again. The Eurus Education Center was where the last phone was. I bet they haven't turned these on yet.
So these plaques, you can have one of your own. Last time I looked into it, they cost 7,500 bucks. It's probably gone up in price since then. Some of them are pretty funny, but others make this place feel like a cemetery. So this is the the Delacorte Theater, and uh, there used to be three phones in that space. And I have proof of it. <laughs> you can barely see them, but that's from my website. But that's the same spot. That's Romeo and Juliet right there. So yeah. Three in a row. Gone but not forgotten. Man, look at all those geese. Geese are scary ass creatures, man. Seriously. One time I was at the cemetery taking a picture of a hawk. And I was concentrating enough that I guess a few minutes passed. And when I came out of my concentration, I looked behind me and saw that I was about two thirds surrounded by geese. They started to form a circle around me. And I just quietly stepped away as if I hadn't noticed anything. Who knows what would have come of that mess. I could just look it up, but I always gotta ask, is this the biggest statue in Central Park? This one for Poland. I think the tallest thing is Cleopatra's Needle. But that's also, I think, one of the oldest things in New York if not the oldest thing. But among sculpted statues, is this the biggest one? Maybe I'll look it up sometime.